Hi, everybody. Yeah. Uh, my name is Daria Tarasova, and I would like to present uh, you this uh, research uh, and this platform, SlideWiki. It's a platform for elicitation and sharing of corporate knowledge using presentations. So I'm a mem member of XSW Research Group at University of Leipzig, uh, Germany. Mm. So uh, I will start uh, with uh, discussing the presentation as a tool for knowledge management and challenges of current organizational presentations. Uh, then I will speak about SlideWiki concept. After that, I will show SlideWiki implementation and evaluation results. And after that, conclusion. So um, let me start. Presentations play a crucial role uh, in knowledge management within organizations. Uh, in particular, they uh, facilitate organizational uh, learning and innovation. If you don't believe me, just look around. Presentations are one of the commonly used communicational uh, channels, uh, channels uh, through which organization mm, members elicit and share their knowledge. As a tool for knowledge management within organizations, presentation can be applied to the several areas. Uh, first of them is uh, developing an organizational memory. In organizations, uh, learning occurs through shared insights and mental models. In this process, uh, organizations obtain the knowledge uh, that is located in the minds of their members, uh, or uh, in some art artifacts such as uh, memories, policies, strategies, and programs. This shared mental model, uh, also called organizational memory, um, is a accumulated body of data, information, and knowledge. Um, also, uh, presentations uh, are an important driver of organizational innovation. Presentation tools uh, enable the creation of so-called uh, structural uh, reference, uh, a representation that one uh, develops about the structure. Structural reference supports the communities to collaborate on individual ideas uh, and foster the potential ideas in alignment with the organizational goals. Uh, also, presentations are the most used media uh, for creating uh, e-learning within organizations. Um, it, they are so popu popular uh, due to the fact that uh, they contain visualized learning materials, which improve the training of organization members having different levels of knowledge, uh, enabling users to contribute to this training material makes it possible uh, to provide engaging, bidirectional, and interactive means of knowledge exchange. And also combining uh, presentation with uh, assessment and self-assessment items uh, could help uh, users to monitor their progress and, uh, as a result, increases the quality of learning. When combined uh, with crowdsourcing and uh, social approaches, collaborative social approaches, uh, presentation can help organizations to cultivate innovation by collecting and expressing the individual's ideas within organizational social structures. Uh, work groups, uh, project teams, or informal networks, all these social structures mm, frequently use presentations to mm, present and discuss their internal ideas. Uh, therefore, creating an integrated collaborative platform for authoring and sharing the presentations uh, will result in exchanging knowledge uh, not only within, but also around such social structures. Uh, so, uh, presentations facilitate organizational learning and innovation, and namely they help to elicit and share individuals' knowledge, to develop uh, organizational memory, to cultivate innovation, and to develop high-quality e-learning content. Mm, when dealing with uh, presentations, we face to a list of challenges uh, that could be uh, roughly divided into the several categories. First of all, sharing and reuse of presentations. Much of the corporate strategy, uh, direction, and uh, knowledge is encapsulated in presentation. Uh, yet this knowledge is effectively lost uh, because slides are inaccessible and uh, they are rarely shared. Furthermore, offline presentations are hard to locate. 
thereby uh, executives usually spend a lot of their uh, time creating new slides instead of using existing material. Mm, ex executives in different departments or, or countries often uh, unknowingly duplicate uh, their effort, wasting time and money. And to create a presentation collaboratively, uh, the member need uh, to open it, uh, to manually download it, to open it, to uh, edit, to merge uh, the presentations manually. Mm. Finding uh, the most uh, up-to-date presentation is a very uh, time-consuming and expensive task, but uh, finding the most up-to-date slide is almost impossible task. Uh, furthermore, discussing the content of presentations uh, in face-to-face -face meetings or email discussions uh, is not efficient within organization. Tracking and handling changes uh, that occur within different presentations is a also time-consuming task, which uh, needs opening all offline presentations and manually comparing uh, their content. Uh, additionally, uh, there could be hundreds uh, of slide copies uh, to change when a uh, regional slide is modified. With offline presentation, uh, it's difficult to persistently manage and uh, sustain specific organizational style templates. Uh, and also presentations can be created in different formats, for example, open office or LaTeX or PowerPoint or HTML-based, Flash-based, um, and they all uh, have to be integrated and reused. Um, and reused. And with, as we already said, uh, an effective skills management and training. Mm, so now uh, let me introduce uh, the slide wiki concept that uh, deals with all these challenges. Um, so slide wiki is a crowdsourcing platform for elicitation and sharing of corporate knowledge using presentations. It ex exploits uh, the wisdom, uh, creativity and productivity of the crowd for the collaborative creation of structured presentations. SlideWiki provides a collaborative environment to resolve the challenge discussed, uh, discussed above online. Uh, it enables knowledge communities to contribute to dynamic parts of organizational memory, uh, which is encapsulated in presentations. It's here. <laughs> Rather than uh, viewing memory is, as knowledge stored in a collection of retention bins, the emphasis is on memory as a continually uh, constructed and reconstructed by humans interacting with each other and with their uh, organizational environment. In SlideWiki, users from different knowledge communities and uh, functional boundaries can collaboratively create structured online presentations. Users can assign tags uh, and categories to structure the presentation. The created uh, presentations uh, can be shared and reused to build uh, new synergetic presentations. Users can also track and uh, manage uh, changes um, within the presentations uh, using a revision system. Additionally, SlideWiki includes an e-learning component, which deals with questionnaires created for each in individual slide. Um, in order to effectively integrate and deploy SlideWiki within an organization, um, having an organizational evaluation and support system um, seems to be crucial. Um, measuring the quality of user contributions, uh, as well as providing them with incentives to reinforce value of sharing, uh, are a uh, requirement of a modern knowledge management platform. Organizations need to frequently monitor the organizational memory created by presentation um, in order to link and align the user's con contributions with their organizational goals, uh, management, uh, value system, and infrastructure. So, mm, uh, to implement uh, the slide wiki, we developed uh, Mm. Data model um, 
that it's called actually we can update a model, but uh, it also can be viewed uh, as an example of the design paradigm known as the Matryoshka principle. Mm, similar to the nested doll, uh, a set of content objects mm, connected by part of relations uh, can be arranged and manipulated in exactly the same manner as an individual, individual non-structured object. So uh, actually here, each uh, the doll, each matryoshka is the presentation as we know it from PowerPoint. So it's not structured fragment of presentation. And in slide wiki, all these uh, dolls, all these uh, <coughs> presentations can be combined. Uh, they can be put one in another and uh, becoming a one structured presentation. And at the same time, uh, they remain to be independent uh, because of the version. Uh, so there are two relations in the heart of the model. A part of relation to structure the content and based on relation to support the creation of a collaboration ecosystem. <laughs> Uh, the revisioning system uh, is actually similar with uh, what we have in Wikiway, um, but it's uh, a little bit more complicated because of uh, structure, because of structure of the content. Uh, thus, uh, we restricted the model and um, we identified the uh, three situations which have to cause the creation of a new revision for presentations, for decks. Uh, the first is when uh, the user specifically requests to, request, uh, to create a new deck revision. Uh, second is uh, when the content of a deck is modified by a user which is neither the owner of a deck uh, nor a member of the deck editor's group. And the last is when the content of a deck is modified by the owner of a deck but the deck is used somewhere else. The slide, the slide wiki application uh, makes an extensive use of model uh, view controller um, architecture pattern uh, that uh, enables uh, the developers to maintain each of the components separately. <coughs> now I would like to show a short demo. So I would like to start from the uh, authoring component. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, Stadwiki employs an inline HTML5 uh, editor um, based on uh, the what you see is what you get uh, paradigm. Uh, we used uh, Aloha editor, but we uh, enriched it with additional elements. Uh, thus, uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, an SVG editor. Actually, it's what's open, it, what is opened here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The inline editor uses SVG images for drawing shapes on slide canvas. Yeah. For logical structuring of presentations, SlideWiki uh, utilizes a three structures uh, in which users can append uh, new or existing slides, uh, decks, and uh, users can uh, drag and drop uh, items for positioning, and so on. Mm, change management um, actually uh, looks uh, similar with uh, Wiki, but uh, yeah, you also can uh, see the differences and to choose uh, the revision you like. Uh, a, cru a crucial feature of slide Wiki is an ability to import and export uh, presentations uh, in different formats. Uh, without such a possibility, uh, a user will be uh, discouraged from uh, contributing and maintaining data on the platform. Uh, as I already said, the main uh, data format is HTML, but uh, all we know that uh, people uh, like to use, for example, PowerPoint and uh, LaTeX uh, for 
preparing the presentations. So actually for now we already support the import from PPTX uh, PowerPoint files. Uh, also we have uh, inline uh, equation editor where you can add the formula from LaTeX. And we're working on uh, full import from LaTeX and OpenOffice. Mm. Also, SlideWiki uh, supports the creation of questionnaires and self-assessment tests uh, from presentation slides. Uh, each slide can have uh, one or several questions. Uh, they are, for now, uh, multiple choice questions. Um, this question is assigned to uh, a slide. And as a result, uh, the presentation uh, has uh, automatically um, collected list of uh, questions or questionnaire uh, that can be used for uh, self-assessment. Also, there is a possibility to manually create uh, a test from different questions uh, not connected to each other. Mm. And also, uh, all the questions and questionnaires uh, could be managed uh, in a collaborative way, so they are also um, under the versioning system. In order to create flexible and dynamic uh, templates and styles for presentations, uh, SlideWiki uh, uh, utilizes a syntactically awesome style sheet language. Actually, it's an uh, extension on CSS. And uh, to manage styles uh, is really very easy. You can choose it by one uh, click, and also uh, there is an editor. It's not much com more complicated than uh, to work with CSS and, yeah. Mm, and also I would like to say uh, a few words about uh, translation because um, our architecture allowed us to um, implement the translation uh, based on um, Google Translate service uh, thus, each uh, presentation and each part of presentation uh, can be translated into one of uh, 54 languages. Uh, yeah, I already translated this uh, presentation uh, into Russian. And each, um, this new presentation can be stored, uh, it can be edited, and uh, it has its own history started from this uh, translated from English version. Mm. So, yeah, actually, this presentation is also prepared in SlideWiki. <laughs> uh, so, the SlideWiki concept was evaluated in several ways. Uh, firstly, as a proof of concept, we developed a comprehensive implementation, which is available at uh, slidewiki.xw.org. The SlideWiki platform is currently used um, for accompanying uh, an information systems lecture with more than 80 students. So we try to evaluate uh, <laughs> the e-learning component separately. And we performed a preliminary usability study as well as a performance evaluation, which are described in our paper. So let me conclude uh, that SlideWiki addresses weaknesses of conventional uh, presentation tools currently used by organization. Uh, it provides a crowdsourcing platform for the collaboratively ordering of presentations. Uh, such created presentations uh, help to effectively shape uh, the organizational memory by uh, utilizing crowd feedback. And also SlideWiki addresses e-learning as well as social aspects of knowledge management by providing uh, special features such as uh, questionnaires, following, tagging, and discussing the presentation content. So I would like to uh, thank my colleagues from XSW Research Group, and also I would like to thank uh, Ireland and Galway and uh, the organization committee of the conference, and you for your patience, and please, your questions are welcome. <laughs>